I come bearing a warning from the future about this off-brand. Everybody in the right mind would never watch this to get something going. It is a mental scarring experience for anyone who would watch this. So anyone in the right mind, please heed my warning and never watch this for your own safety and sanity. Hello everybody of the internet. My name is Avarice Puma and welcome back to an off-brand review. And today we're looking at... God damn it. Shitku X Kanojo. I hope I said that right, but I probably didn't. Anyway, as you can tell by the tone of my voice, I am not happy to share this one with you, because this one shows the horrors of reality in this one, including the dark side of people. So, we have our main protagonist, Natsuko. It's a girl for once, I know. She is a woman in her late tw in late twenties or early twenties. That is cute. That everyone loves her because she's clumsy. She's happy and always has a smile on her face. She's just very very likable. But she has this boyfriend named Shibata. I believe it is. I believe it is. Hope I got that on right. But Shibata is not all he seems on the surface. In her eyes, Shibata is a nice and caring and loving boyfriend, but on the inside, he is a disgusting creature that has eight other girlfriends, and he takes pictures of them and posts them on the internet for money, but he also just doesn't care about any of them. He's a womanizer and a plagueful monster. And... Natsuko is just another one of his victims. But, to our surprise, Natsuko also has this yandere stalker named... Uh, sh shit, what's his name? Time to Google this. It's Shioji? Yeah, Shioji. He is a yandere stalker that cares about Natsuko and only kidnaps Natsuko because... He knows the truth about her boyfriend in quotation marks. However, she doesn't believe him and decides to call the police on him when she's kidnapped by him. He trusted her and that didn't end up working. So he tries to screw her until he gets her to believe him. Unfortunately for me and my sanity, watching these four episodes of this god-awful, horrendous, soul-screeching experience has caused a wear and tear on my sanity for the lesser. It is disgusting, and it is 0 out of 10 on the FAP scale, just saying. I mean, you have so many more better options for that. You have plenty more, like Masterpiece, for example. That one was way better. But this one, Shikrek Kanojo, there's nothing redeeming about it besides the art style. You have a story that's like a good 4 out of 10 at best because it's just... Shioji trying to convince Natsuko to believe that her boyfriend is a piece of shit, but she won't believe him, and that makes him start to screw her into making her believe him. And the tags for this one are completely disgusting, and there are scenes in there that are just stuck in my head for the rest of my life because I've been scarred for the crap that I looked at on this screen. I mean, I'm not a fan of, you know, shoving stuff where it doesn't belong and putting foreign objects into your body and then punching it so it comes out. It's not how... This is not how off is supposed to look. I enjoyed it, like, not at all. 
I believe if you can enjoy this one, you're sick in the head. Like, there are people that get off to this, and I believe that is disgusting. I don't believe you are lucky to even have a look at this. It is disturbing. <sighs> Sorry, that was a bit of a rant. But hey, I'm gonna tell you what happens because you know I am one of those people that tell uh, off that continue the off brands. So in the first episode, it's a bunch of exposition about uh, Shoji giving an exposition on how everyone loves Natsuko and that she's got a boyfriend and that she loves him very much. <sighs> but Natsuko is stalked by. Syoji because he knows under the surface of her boyfriend that her boyfriend is a piece of shit disgusting human being but it turns out that stalker named Syoji is just as fucked up as him the girl is the only saving grace of this anime and sh you watch this as she further and further declines in mental health and sanity and she ends up breaking at the end you watch her sanity and life essence just snuff out at the last episode. So we follow after Kanojo walks home. Or Natsuko, sorry. Natsuko walks home after work and she is kidnapped by Shioji. And it shows a bunch of exposition about how she is loved by everybody and loves her boyfriend. And it also shows that Syoji knocked uh, Tats Tatsuki or Tatsuya unconscious because he knows who he is. So uh, when uh, Natsuko gets kidnapped, she calls the cops on Syoji. But Syoji heard the whole thing and decides to do something about it. The second episode rolls around and... Goodness lord. Natsuko is brutally forced, can't say that word, into submission by Syoji. She is beaten like, not the BDSM kind, but just like punched, bruised, and everything. She loses her V-card to Syoji, and it is not pretty. Because it is more forced than anything. Like, there is no love in that, even though... Syoji does love... Natsuko. But it is disgusting. It's just a mental torment journey the whole time through. Then the third episode rolls around and it is the most disgusting episode of any off-brand I have ever seen. I would frankly live without eyes and watch that again. So there's still screwing and exposition dumps keep happening, but... You know what, I'm going to leave out most of the details for your own safety and hearing. Frankly, I would never say watch this, and I believe that. I do not think you should watch it. It is disgusting. Human beings with brains should never see this. Calling this anime an off- or an off-brand good is an insult. It is disgusting. This thing makes you feel disgusted, empty, and wanting something more, but you're getting nothing in return. You're watching someone get brutally screwed because the form of love is missing from that whole statement. <sighs> Sorry, this episode makes no sense because this anime is full of plot holes. God damn it! So the fourth episode finally rolls around and then... God, that ice cube scene. I would never ever watch that again. 
Oh, my head. So Natsuko gets pregnant with Shioji's child, but she ends up w believing Shioji about her boyfriend, and her boyfriend is a piece of shit because she looked through his phone, and she loses the will to live. She is mind broken with a baby that, with a man that she had never even liked, her kidnapper. So she decides when Shioji's away to go up on the roof of the apartment building that she's been kidnapped in and Shioji at the bottom of the apartment complex witnesses Natsuko commit suicide on at midnight. On fortunately or unfortunately Natsuko hits Shioji and he is unconscious or killed in the process. But also, when she was she was pregnant, so the baby's also dead. With a news report ending the series, her boyfriend, Natsuko's boyfriend, gets arrested for her murder, for posting pictures about her. And this is the end of a nightmare. People of the internet or anything... I implore you not to watch this, please. For your own safety and sanity, please. I beg you, for the life of God that it all is holy, to never look at this. I rate this a 3 out of 10. And I do not recommend ever bringing this up again. My name's Ad Ben Avers Puma. Everybody, please stay safe.